Marine Fisheries gave us three day uh, mini season for red snapper. So we took advantage of it and only fished one day. But we got some nice fish and this is a product of our uh, hard work out here was a, a beautiful snapper fillet. This is red snapper. It's you know a solid flaky fish, very white meat as you could tell. And um, you can make it a different, bunch of different ways. You can fry it, you can blacken it, you can put it on the grill. Um, however you want to make it, it's, it's, it's delicious. So we're going to start here with some salted butter and we're going to put this up to medium high heat. I'll actually just put it to a, a, a lower heat initially uh, just to get it going. But uh, I'm going to throw that on there and uh, we're going to get started. First thing you need is your trusty knife. Now this fillet is boneless, skinless, it's ready to do it to go. Um, I recommend not washing the fillet off until you're ready to cook it, basically. So when I cut this up, uh, just purely without water, and um, you know I made it skinless, check for bones, which I've already done, and I'm gonna prepare the, 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 uh, the fillet. And this is really simple to do. So this is the Chef Prudhomme's Black and Red Fish Spice. You can use it on pretty much any seafood product, pork product, meat product, you name it. Uh, it's very good. It's, it was made popular with redfish, so we have a few videos where we're cooking with this. This is one of our top ways of, of making it. You can't go wrong with it. So let's prepare the fillet. We're going to cut out the uh, bloodline here, as you can see. There's a bloodline going all the way down, and uh, we're going to make it to a little bit to uh, more of a finger size uh, fillet. You, you know, you can try to make these uniform as well. It doesn't get much fresher than this. Let me just get the tail in there. Now we're going to cut out this bloodline. And this fish was swimming around about four days ago, three days ago. So that's a pretty good uh, piece. Now a lot of people I, I give fish to, they'll say, oh, how long can I keep the fish for? And uh, you got to remember the snapper boats that go out there, they're spending anywhere from three days to a week offshore trying to catch snapper. So, um, you know, and then, then it's sitting in the, the wholesaler, then going to the retailer or the end fish market. So um, you do have a, a decent shelf life, but you do notice it's, it's a lot better when you eat it sooner rather than later. So I always recommend as soon as you can eat it, as soon as you catch it, eat it. Um, I try not to freeze my fish, just uh, a point there. I think that's probably a nice piece right there. I try not to freeze the fish. I know there's a lot of people that love to freeze fish. And, um, you know, I find that you get kind of uh, freezer burn and uh, it's, it's not as good. So, all right, so the, the, the first step we're going to do here is we got the butter going. We've uh, prepared the filet. We're going to add some black and red fish spice. So we're going to liberally coat the fillets. And we'll do the same to the back side. All right, let me let me go get some more Spice here. All right, we'll do the back side. And this guy was is pretty much ready to go. Like I said, liberally coat. Kicks it up a notch. All right. I've washed my hands, and let's come on over here to the uh, frying pan. You'll see it takes two seconds to heat this up. So this is going. And uh, it's really, you know, it's really easy to make. You can make it at home, you know, any kind of white fish uh, to make, 
you know, this same recipe, you, you should try it. It's, it's uh, almost uh, foolproof. The one thing you gotta watch out for is not to overcook the filet. So if you overcook it, then it's gonna be dry, it's gonna be chewy, and it's not gonna be a good experience compared to what, what you could have. So it's better to try to like almost undercook it than to overcook it, because you can always throw it back in the pan. Um, but we kind of have it down to a science where we can cook it and know exactly where it, when it's ready to go. So you wanna get the pan nice and hot. You'll see it's coming up to temperature here. Now a lot of people will use the uh, old school skillet pans where they'll season it and whatnot. We don't have that here, uh, but uh, this will do. So I'm actually gonna put it down to about a medium high. And we're gonna throw this guy on here. So here we go. Nice filet. I usually don't want to overcrowd it, but... It smells good already. You can smell the herbs. And Chef Prudon made this recipe famous with the black and red fish. So they were, they had, a, you know, they had this abundance of big red fish that are kind of a tough, the, the bigger they are, the tougher they are. And this was actually a, a solid recipe that he came up with and started to sell the seasonings. Um, and uh, it, was, it, was, it took off. Uh, so this came out of New Orleans. So New Orleans is known for their culinary school, skills and, uh, and this is a, a, a good sample of it. So we're still at about medium high, more on the higher side. And you can see it's, it's cooking up nicely. And one of the tricks too is to make sure that the thickness of the filet is kind of uniform. But uh, if you have a thicker piece, like this is a thicker piece right here. So we're going to cook that one longer than say this thin piece over here or this piece over here. So just so you know. Alright, let's flip that right there. See how flaky it is? Get it in that butter bath. Look at how nice that looks. Plenty of butter in there. And you can see it's just flaking apart there. Not bad. American red snapper are really abundant fish, uh, but the federal government thinks that they're not abundant, so they've put significant restrictions on the fish. So every year they give uh, South Atlantic fisher, fishermen and women uh, a small season, three to four, uh, four days per year of catching them, with one per fish. It used to be two, two per 20 inches minimum, and uh, they changed those regulations in about uh, around 2009, 2010. So it's unfortunate, but I will say the snapper fishery has come back significantly. I tell a story, if you caught a 20 pounder before two, you know, 2005, a 20 pounder was a fish of a lifetime for a red snapper. Um, you know, if you, caught, if you caught one or two, like that was amazing. Uh, and uh, today you can go out and you, know, you have a good shot of getting one over 20 pounds. So it's a unique, uh, 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 unique fishery now. But uh, we're hopeful that they'll open it up. Look at that flakiness right there. That's getting close. I need to tell right there, that's off the game of close. Alright. And then one of the time the the, the the easy way to tell. Uh, when you're getting close to cooking it, is when it starts to flake apart like this. And you can, you know, you can just see in there, hey, it's still a little bit translucent. It's a little clear. 
still has a little bit to go. If you're cooking this on a high, you know, medium high heat, so it's gonna cook very fast. The remnants here could be taken off. Those are pretty much ready to go. This looks good there. See how it just falls apart? I think these guys are all pretty much done. Now you do get a little smoky. And we'll put the heat down to more of a medium. Here it's going fast, we're almost out of juice. So we're almost done. See that has a little bit longer to go. We'll take these guys off over here. And while we're there, I'll throw this one little piece back on there. This one piece should cook really fast. Starting to break apart there. This guy's looking good. Alright. This guy's gonna be seconds and this is probably pretty much done and one slip there all right now let's enjoy this piece of uh, fish here you can see what it looks like now. Take a look. Blackened red snapper. All right, let's try it, let's see. You can t tell it's really moist in there. Look at that. It's got a great texture, great taste. This is a, a really good fish to eat, so it's a popular restaurant uh, item, and you'll see it in the fish market as well, that it's not caught in the South Atlantic fisheries. And that's uh, from Florida, the Atlantic side, all the way up to the Carolinas. But this is a great way to cook fish. I encourage you to try it, and uh, join us on some other adventures too. We have more coming, so we look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.